This episode of Film Riot is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Riot, we get back into color correction, where we correct color because it was out of line. Welcome to Film Night, the show that takes the mystery out of the effects and techniques to go to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley. So, did you guys see Dark Knight Rises? You haven't seen it yet, have you? I have not. We have Bruno behind the camera instead of Josh today. Hello, everybody, who hasn't Hello. seen Dark Knight Rises yet. I did. I did indeed. And I was actually on Variant, our new show, which went up yesterday, to give my opinion on the film along with Eris. So, if you have not seen that and you want to know if I loved it, hated it, or levated it, which is a mixture of the two, go here and check it out. Check it out with your eyes. But that's totally off topic. The topic is off, not on. The opposite of on. Today, our topic is color correcting your image. And yes, I know I told you that we had a special guest this week, but unfortunately our schedules didn't line up. So it is on hold for now, but hopefully we'll get that going soon and I'll tell you who it is when we get it going. Anywho, look. Hello, baby dude. I was hoping you'd get to color correction again. I know you did an episode on it, but you went over it very quickly and lost me completely. Could you maybe go more in depth? You know what, baby daddy dude, you're right. In that episode, I did skim over things a bit too quickly with little clarification. So to make amends, to mend my injustice, I will go back over some color correction all right now. Now, I'm gonna go through the basics of color correction since it is, in fact, pretty basic. And again, to clarify, in simple terms, color correction is the initial correction you do to your image. This is also called primary color correction. This is where you will adjust the contrast and correct color issues that may be in the base image. For instance, let's take this shot of my dog. She's looking all regal and majestic. In fact, probably works better with music. So classy. Maybe she should have a cigar, too. Class act. What was I? Right. So, as you can see, this image is pretty flat. We have that muddy gray look going on, which we, in fact, do not want. So, let's get our color correction on, playa. For this, I'm going to use Magic Bullet. I'm a big fan of this plugin. It is, of course, not as in-depth as Apple's Color, DaVinci Resolve, or Speed Grade, but it has a multitude of great tools to get a super high-end result, and it speeds up your workflow a lot in comparison, which is one of the main reasons I use it so much for all my shows. We don't have the time or the manpower to waste, so speed and quality together is a must and magic bullet is a real lifesaver when it comes to that not to mention if you are new to color correcting and grading then jumping right into those complex programs may not be the best idea for you but back into the plugin we go so the first thing i'm going to do is correct the contrast to balance it out and get a basic nice looking image which contrast is the levels of difference you have between black and white for instance if you take this grayscale here currently our image is living somewhere in this area which doesn't have much of a difference in the shades of gray this would be low contrast. High contrast would incorporate much more of this spectrum, allowing for a great variance between black and white. A good way to illustrate this is take this image and we'll set it to black and white before I do my contrast work on it. And once you do, you can see that this image is very low contrast. We have a similar gray going across the entire image with little peaks here and there. But even the dark areas of her mouth and the eye that should be black are not a true black at all. So I will go into my tools, which here you will see we have tabs for subject, matte, lens, camera, and post, which I love this. It sort of simulates the primary to secondary workflow. You first have the subject, which is where you'll do your initial color correction. Then we move on to matte, lens, and camera, all of which have different and interesting options. And finally, to post for basically the secondary grading, which is at least how I use it. But for now, we will start in subject. So I will grab curves and bring them down in front of saturation. This is important because each new tool you bring down is correcting not the original image, but the image after the correction that came before it which this is the way it'll work in pretty much any editor. Now to show this, I'll go into the blue and jack that up. And as you see, we get a purely blue image, but if we move it behind saturation, we still get black and white since the saturation is affecting the image after the blue is infused. 
but I digress. So we have our black and white image, which I will now add contrast to by bringing up the contrast fader, which I won't go crazy here. I'm not trying to stylize the image yet. Just get a base to work from. Now this contrast bar is basically adjusting the highlights, which are the bright points of the image and the shadows, which are the darkest points of the image. But that looks good about there. Now you can proceed to your taste. Me, I like to toy around with all the knobs until I have something that tingles my jingles as we say around here. So I'll drop the shadows a bit more, then bring up the mid-tones a bit, which the mid-tones are exactly what they sound like. They're middle grays of the image, I guess you could say. Then I'll move down to my highlights. Now the highlights are in a good place right now, but I think I will make them pop a bit more by upping the highlight number just a little bit. You wanna be careful here not to go too far, cause if you do, you'll send them to straight white, blow out the image and it'll look ugly. You, if you want it that way when you're stylizing, that's fine, but you wanna wait till you get there so you can mess with that part of it in the end. But I think we're good with that about right there. So now with that done, I can get rid of the black and white filter to see what my image looks like. And there you go, much nicer, a lot more tonality throughout. And just to compare, here is what it looked like before a correction and now after. A huge improvement and an overall much more pleasing looking shot. But now we have to take a quick break and then we'll talk about more matching of color. <clears throat> now? Yeah. Oh, hi. Do you like a website that you want to have one? What? What? If you have a business or a blog or, or if you want a business or a blog, you can have Domain.com. You need it for your idea, that's great. Domain.com is nicer than sitting in a pool on a hot summer's day sipping lemonade. We don't have lemonade. It's not lemonade. You can blog, set up a website, or an email address at your personal domain name. Or make money. Here's some of the things you'll buy with the monies you make. And guess what? 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 No, I was, I was just... Never mind. Okay. You can save 15% off your domain name and web hosting when you use the coupon code FILMRIDE at checkout. Now you're saving money! These are the things you can buy with the monies you save! So don't forget to use the coupon code FILMRIDE at checkout. Because when you use domain.com, you can get a girlfriend. Like mine. No! Get a girlfriend. That has nothing to do with domain.com. You're going to get a suit. No, it's good. That is not your girlfriend. That is clearly a man, and I'm pretty positive a prostitute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nice to have you back. So any balls, when you are color correcting, you are not just taking one single clip and adjusting it till it looks pretty. You also, and this is the most important part of color correction by the way, are matching all the clips that you have on your timeline together so that they are uniform and flow perfectly within that scene. If the color from one clip to the next changes dramatically and it's supposed to be in the same area, this will pull your audience out of your story and make you look amateur. And no nobody wants that. Mm -mm. So take these two shots. First we have the one we did of my dog and then a different one of her in another spot of the yard. As you can see, there there is a lighting change and color change between these two. I purposefully changed the white balance here to show you, but this happens a lot in production. Like if you were shooting with the Red Epic and a 5D as a B cam or a 5D with something like a T3i as the B cam. Between these cameras, you're gonna get very different looks and in color correction, this is where you're gonna make everything match. So as we showed before, we will go and correct our contrast first, which I will start just by copy and pasting the one I did before from the first clip to this one to see where I'm at. And it seems I need to take the contrast a bit further in this new clip. But before I do, I'm gonna match the color. So I will open up Magic Bullet, and since this is a white balance issue with the new clip being a bit more blue, or you could say cool, I will grab the warm cool filter, drop it on before my curves, and shift the image hue to more of a warm tone. And that looks about right, right there, but still the original shot is a touch more contrasty. So I will go to my curves and push everything a bit further. And here I see that the highlights have been pushed too far. So I'll dial it back a bit. That way we are not blowing 
out the white areas. And that is much closer, and you could stop here and be happy with the fact that it's close enough, but for me, this second shot is a bit more yellow and lacking some of the magentas that we're getting in the first clip. So again, I will go back to my curves, go over to the green and pull some green out of the shadow and the mids. This will add a bit of magenta in there. Then I'll jump over to blue and add just a bit of blue into the mids to battle that yellow. And booyah, we have two shots matching beautifully. Can I get a bammy wham? Bammy wham! So that's it for today, my friendlies. I hope that cleared up color correction for those of you who wanted it. Next week, we're going to move beyond color correction and into color grading getting all stylized and creative and whatnot but until then you know twitter and stuffs man i gotta i gotta tell you i've been slacking on twitter i got so busy these past two weeks that i've been neglecting you my twitter buddies i feel bad i miss you guys i'm gonna jump back on there today get all caught up so come say hi if you want but i'm outie i'll see you crazies next week when i ride a giant dog through the sky that may or may not be a bird. Okay. I thought I'd have to hit you. No. If you don't, came close. Don't do that. I know three for I know three forms of martial arts. Do you? I don't believe that. I don't think you know how to fight at all. Synchronized swimming, pole vaulting, and beach was. What was that last one? Beach was. I'm not familiar with that, actually. It's from, it's, it's from the Polynesian, it, it's new, it's new. Oh, that's cool. I don't want to use it. But I will if I have to. But I don't, just steer, just steer clear of me. I'm so dangerous. <laughs>